Welcome to Bay Area Art Beat. This week we're going to be discussing murals and the mur meeting three amazing muralists and talking about the work that they have done. And um, it's such a pleasure to introduce Edie Bohm. Uh, Edie, so is there something you want us to tell you, something you'd like to tell us about you to begin with? And then I'll have my questions. Okay. Well, I, I love doing murals. Um, I worked in Richmond for a year with seniors, and that was very enjoyable. And one of the murals is in the Richmond Library. Okay. And um, I have been working on um, a mural design with a group of, of artists that I've worked with and taught, some of them I taught, for a year um, for that mural on Ashby. And um, I'm just really proud to um, say that most of the world murals that have been done were, turned out to be very beautiful. And not just because of my art skill, but because of the people that I choose to work with me on a mural. That makes a big difference because of their art skills too. And I like to have a diverse team, like my team is Chinese, Latino, black, white, and, and others, um, Muslim, no matter what they are, if they can paint and draw, I want them to come and give their ideas so I can give, you know, give to everybody, not just to one set of people. So, Should we, um, should we start talking about the mural on Ashby and get to the book? Let's do that. Sure. Um, the mural that Edie is in the process, it's, the mural is actually finished now, but you're still going to do tiles and some finishing touches. Um, <clears throat> it's on Ashby Avenue uh, between Ellis and Harper, is that right? That's and right. It's on a fence. It's on a fence, but it looks like a wall. Yes. Um, because um, Eleanor's father, the young lady that's going to come, she he built that wall for ah. us. So um, that, that's another thing that, that happened with that mural that it became a community mural. It, just, it wasn't just mine anymore. Once we started putting the images on, people came to help, people bought food, people came and talked, people gave ideas. But we were meeting with the people in the beginning anyway, but more people that I, needed, that I didn't even know or met came out and talked to me about the mural and about incidents that has happened in the past. And so I learned so much from doing that mural too. Yeah. So another thing about this mural too is that in the grant that I wrote, I wrote, I hired someone to write a book about, because I knew that every, all the information that I got that I couldn't put on the wall, because it would have been too crowded. So a book is being made, and it's going to go in every library in Berkeley, Great. about South Berkeley, that couldn't go on the wall. Great. And then you're going to have tiles, too. And then we're going to put <coughs> tiles down, so we just had cement. So every month, or every other month, the Friends of Adeline were coming out, and we were picking the grass, and the, you know, the grass is hard to get up when it's, when it's in the ground, and pulling the grass out so it wouldn't hit the wall because it would you know, ruin the, the, the wood yeah. with the dampness. So the plan was to get a grant from the city of Berkeley to help us put cement down, and then we're gonna put tile on top. Yeah. And, and then, we're gonna, then we decided that it's so dark that we need to go and have solar light. Great. So we're going to have solar Great. light. And so it's going to look so much better. So that's, that's the plan for the, um, for the Ashby mural. Great. But the Ashby mural has a lot of heroes. Um, Abel Howard, um, Mildred Howard's mother, was responsible for the, for the bar train going underground. Right. Right. And um, um, Mabel Shrek. Shrek is her name. She was on the city council, I think, twice. I'm not sure. Yeah, she, she was. was on the city council yep. twice. And um, Charles. Um, is that the guy that waves? Yes. <laughs> the one who waves and said, Have a good day. I, before I left New York, I seen him on television. I said, oh, I want to live close to this area. And I ended up three blocks away, <laughs> you know. Yes, and him waving. That was a lot. Of, he brought a lot of joy to people. Yeah. Well, I, I was just driving down Ashby, and I must say that you spent a lot of time on that mural and a lot of time outside just really doing public relations. I mean, talking to people and interesting them. And I saw you there, and I got out of my car, and you interested me in the mural. And um, 
I've never worked on a mural before. Um, I have pictures of you. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I got out there with a coat and started painting on it. And you just, you just welcomed, you welcomed everybody. And um, you were able to sort of assess what their skill level was and have them do, you yeah. know, just start working on it. It was a fabulous experience for me. And I'm sure Thank you. For, everybody, for everybody that helped with it. Um, so the mural is still, imp- I mean, the mural is there. People should look at it. It's, it's beautiful. And then it's going to be in the process of being worked on some more. So we'll announce on this program if there's going to be a completion or a celebration or something okay. like that. Thank you. And uh, yeah, no, great. I, I love it. It's beautiful. So, and it also is the history of South Berkeley. So um, it goes from the Indians up to the present moment. And uh, I think it's, it's very important. It's a very important it, thing for people to look at the history and see what a, a, that they're a part of this whole long story. Now, I want you to talk about this project which you worked with and tell so me this about was, that. This was um, the, a project. This was, um, we had this idea that the Women's Building Muralists, the seven of us, wanted to go and do a book. And then first it was one size, then it got to be another size. Then we decided that it had to be a very big book where we could show the images and show what the images looked like because it had to be big, you know, big. This is um, an extraordinary, extraordinary, it's an uh, entire building, and um, 18th Street, is that right? Yes, on 18th Street. And in San Francisco, in the Mission District, of course, and I mean, once you're there, you can't miss it, but it's, it's amazing. This is one of the biggest murals I've ever seen, is that? It's a landmark mural, really. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's about, all about women. Um, we, we had many discussions. I think we met for about a year just discussing what we wanted. We interviewed the community, and we got over, over a thousand re, you know, requests for people to be on the wall. Yeah, and, yeah. And we just decided that we chose what we could, and we have, this is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And so this, this, this would actually, look good on your, your table. Anybody's, <laughs> Anybody's um, table. And I guess that we should mention that this book is, um, has just come out through Hay Day Press and should be, and this is for sale. So. And it's for sale. It'll be on sale in September. Okay. And um, I just want to also mention that my son who passed away is the only male on the, on the building. Well, that's some honor, my dear, to be the mother of the only male. <laughs> yeah, I'm the mother of the only male. D. Lexis Woods was here. And oh, this is the calligraphy person that was, um, I forgot her name, Do you, too. Let me go and think of it. I'm, I know I didn't, I, I don't know if, I, if you can say offhand, but... Olivia. Could, yeah. could you mention the names of the other people who worked on this? Or it, sure. Um, so... Um, Miranda Bergman, Mira Desai, um, Irene Perez, um, Yvonne Lilliton, um, me, Edith Boone, and um, Juan Lisa um, Juan Lisa Montoya. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a um, really mixed group of characters from all kinds of different places. All diverse group, very diverse group. We've been meeting for twenty-five years. Yeah. And um, I, I really do believe that they are my sisters. We, we love each other. And um, it's been a wonderful experience. It has been a wonderful experience talking to you, my dear. And it goes very quickly, right? Yes, it does. And we will continue speaking to each other. OK. So it's yeah. over with. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> but, but, but really, in process, we stay here, and I'll keep talking. OK. We'll be right back with more guests.
It is a great pleasure to speak now to Nigel Sussman. He has incredible murals all over Berkeley. I'm, I, well, I would be very surprised if you haven't seen one or two, but tell us about the murals and, uh, and about yourself. Thanks, Susan. I'm honored to be speaking with you and uh, talk about uh, some work around town. I try to stay super busy and enjoy bringing as much color and brightness as I can as ultimately the goal. <laughs> um, but uh, I do a lot of work. You've probably seen construction facades are the most prevalent public work that I have going right now. Um, a lot of murals are, I do a lot of private work as well, but the construction facades are big and, and there's a couple, biggest one on Telegraph and Dwight right now. Um, I'm working on one in Oakland down near Gr Telegraph and Grand, I'll, but uh, covering a lot of square footage in a short amount of time to try to make it feel a little bit more uh, pleasing and less apocalyptic <laughs> yeah. during all the, the, the work that this area is going through right now. Yeah, well, it, it certainly does. I think that to see the murals there um, and to see something beautiful. I mean, that often it's graffiti. So, and uh, it seems like the graffiti artists are respecting. Yeah, that's your, the, your always words. the hope, and it does help a lot for the, the, the impetus for some lots of these for me being asked to do this kind of work is to prevent the tagging and the uh, it, it just turns into a mess pretty quickly because I mean there are great graffiti artists but it seems like the ones that tag indiscriminately are not doing their best work <laughs> <It's> <laughs> but, not, yeah they're not the great ones yeah um, but, but yeah so it, it, it's wonderful to have something something beautiful to look at while Things on the construction. Yeah, uh, for those that type of work, I sort of usually use my have a go-to style where I can cover, um, try to get around forty feet a day. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty remarkable. Is that some kind of record? You should go for. I don't know Guinness, if it's Guinness a book. <laughs> I don't know it, if, if it, it is, but it, I. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> to tell you the truth. That's pretty amazing. Um, do you want to say more about, I mean, it's actually, you cover 40 feet of space in, a, in the mural in a day. Um, yeah, or using the one that I'm in the midst of right now in Telegraph and Grand, um, it's, there's new construction and it's a, like a 180 foot wall that wraps the corner of the block. Yeah. And um, I've been having to break it up into not doing consecutive days because I'm very busy, um, but... Last week I did uh, 40, 40 feet by eight feet tall in the, in a in a day. Okay. Starting, um, but it's limited color palette and bold, fun you, imagery. And the the way to make that happen so quickly is that I forego all planning, and <laughs> and uh, sketch phases and just go uh, directly brushes and house paint on the wall. Yeah. Do you um, do you do the scaffolding and everything? Um, usually, it's either ladders at that size yeah. or just just a small ladder, and I move like a typewriter down the <laughs> down the wall. Great. Um, and for larger walls, if it's higher, I'll try to use like a scissor lift or some. Um, the, the I mean because the the setting up of a scaffold is that's. Uh, a whole other step in the process. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I was. I mean, and, I didn't know how you could do yeah. both those things at the same time. Yeah, oft, often the speed is is what uh, part of why people choose me to do their work is because yeah. I can quickly and efficiently follow directions and cover a lot of space. And I do it all by myself. You know, typically, you have nobody helping you. Wow. With the with the, because I skipping the planning process. Well, it does it's take time hard. planning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, but it's also can't delegate the the work as easily because I'm making decisions yeah. as I'm going versus having it fun, giving directions to follow. Yeah, yeah. That, that's amazing. Um, so 
What's your next project? Or you're doing several at the same time? Um, yeah, right now I have the 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 one you'll probably be seeing when this show comes out is the one that I'm telegraphing. Grand, it's a big piece down in Oakland. Yeah. Um, but uh, at any given time, I have all like ten projects going, and I'm in planning for the bigger corporate things, which is a lot of my business that helps me uh, live as a live as an artist in the Bay Area, yeah. um, those require rounds of approval from the client and drawing them to scale ahead yeah. of time. And I do, right now I'm working on pieces for, um, for Square and LinkedIn and a couple other big uh, tech companies in the yeah. city. Yeah. Where do you live as an artist? I live in Berkeley. Great. Uh, just Hooray. not too far from here. So, yeah. You know, it always makes me so happy when I find out that the artists who can stay Which in Berkeley. Is, yeah, no, I try to make an impact as locally as possible. So a lot of the, yes. the trying to uh, do work for the larger corporate work helps subsidize this work for the small businesses Great. and that stuff. So I'm like doing some stuff for Freight and Salvage right now. Oh, You'll fabulous, see some fabulous. posters and, and, and a mural thing in their, in their remodel space great, coming up soon. Great, great. I think you've worked it out. I'm, okay. I, I mean, it just sound, I, I see what you've done in this fabulous. I appreciate and it, And the Susan. fact that you're able to stay in Berkeley makes me very happy. I, I, I love Berkeley a lot. I've yeah. been here only five years or so, but I, before moving from San Francisco. Yeah, okay, uh, all right. Thank you very, very much. We'll be right back with our next guest and some amazing, interesting things that are happening in Berkeley. One more muralist for us to speak to, and um, Ellie Birnbaum is going to tell us about what she's done and what she's going to be doing in the future. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Really glad to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. It's really an honor. Yeah. So tell, tell us about the work that you have been doing. So I have been in the Bay Area. I was born in the Bay Area, and I grew up here. And then I came back for after school in 2017 because Edie invited me to work on her mural, her most recent mural in South Berkeley. So I was a part of that project for the last summer at the Invisible Made Visible mural um, on Ashby and Ellis. And uh, so I was part of the design team for that and then helped install it over the course of last summer. And simultaneously to that, I was also installing a mural at a homeless encampment in Oakland, um, which is at East 12th and 23rd, which it doesn't exist anymore. The encampment mm -hmm. and the wall that it was on were destroyed, um, which is, it was really sad. I mean, for me, being there and knowing the people, it was more sad to see that their lives were being disrupted than the art. I mean, obviously, I have a great personal appreciation and attachment to that art but more than anything else it was really um, it was an experience to be in South Berkeley at the same time as I was at a homeless encampment and to be working with people who are resisting displacement and creating art 
and creating a you know kind of an epic story and or t creating something that shows the epic story of South Berkeley and you know the resistance against displacement there and the fight for a dignified life and then to be going to you know East Oakland and seeing one of the places where you know folks are really really struggling for that and it was that's been an experience that I'm still kind of working through and processing but um, those are the two big projects that I've worked on most recently. Yeah, and did you work with um, YSA on the mural? No, I didn't. Oh, um, okay. I know people with YSA. I think it's a it's a small community of people who do arts work yeah. with unhoused people, but yeah. um, or with encampments. But yeah. um, I was involved with the village in Oakland, which is a group of people who, um, it's a grassroots organization, so not a nonprofit, who was trying to make these encampments more habitable for everyone and to fight for the um, rights and dignity of the people who are living there. Yeah. Now, are you doing other things in art? Um, I am. So I'm a painter uh, and a printmaker. So okay. I do my big project that's I've been trying to bring it into murals but right now it's kind of existing out here in my brain and in the world uh, is the idea of door gods which are um, they're prints in Chinese culture that they put up every new year um, to protect to protect the family from calamity at the door and so I really liked that idea and so I have, a, I put a door god up as a part of the mural that I did in Oakland. And um, I'm working on doing different uh, paintings on doors and uh, prints and different things like that to, uh, and that's been kind of the big project that I've been working on for the last yeah. several months. Did you send any um, photos so maybe we could show them? Yes, that, I'll, great. yeah, I will. Great. Yeah. Are they are they put on a certain place of the door or anywhere on the door? Um, they're either directly onto the door or next to the door. Yeah. Um, I am being a painter and less of a printmaker. I've been doing it more as painting directly onto doors. So yeah. I'm doing a mural at my family's house in Berkeley that's yeah. going to be on the garage door, yeah. and then I'm doing some where I just buy doors from Urban Ore yeah. and then fix them up and then make paintings for different people that I know. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. And uh, this is a Chinese character? It is. So it's a, it's a very old Chinese tradition, and I'm trying to um, take it, or I'm thinking about it because I'm Chinese. My mom is Chinese, and uh, so I've been thinking about, you know, what's something that represents me as a, or represents my heritage as a Chinese and, you know, American person yeah. that um, I can uh, use to make an artistic heritage for myself Great. or draw on my artistic Great. heritage. Great. And so this is kind of where I've come to is this idea of using, you know, a protector, a spiritual protector yeah. Yeah. to help people carry their boundaries and um, honor the people who are living inside of these doors. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. I mean, it's yeah. wonderful taking the different elements that we come from now mm -hmm. and putting it all together into a new kind of art, into the art of the future. Yeah. All the, all the art of the future, we're protecting our doors. Yes. And opening our doors when exactly. we have to. Exactly, right. yeah. And I love the idea of the door as a metaphor. Um, and especially, you know, being a muralist, we're often painting on walls. Yeah. And I think, you know, walls right now, it's a very, that's a very loaded political topic. Right, right. And uh, so I like the idea, the village mural that I did, it was painted on a wall of doors. And so I liked the wow, idea of, of that, opening the door. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And as a, a door instead of a fence or a wall. Yeah, yeah, and that was yeah. important to me. Yeah, was that that, I, I think that that was written on the um, Statue of Liberty about yeah. opening the doors. I, okay, right yeah. on. <laughs> Thank you. We Thank can you. keep continuing with the great work you're doing. And you told me Thank you're going so back much. to China in August. So I am, yeah. I'm it'll very be really excited. interesting to see that. And be sure that we have pictures of mm -hmm. these things so we'll be able to show them. Yeah. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my three wonderful guests. And we will be back next month with another edition of Art Beat. And in the meantime, stay amazed. Bye.